Hey, what's up everybody? Ramey here. And today what we're doing is we are reviewing the Titan Axle Bar. Um, this is an axle bar. The one I have here is actually the 84 inch version. It costs around $70, $80 new. It's always on sale on Titan's scratch and dent for like $55. They also have a, I believe 60 or 66 inch, 60 inch version. And then that one is also around like $65, but that's not the one I have. I have the full length. Um, barbell axle bar. So let's talk about the axle bar, um, what it's used for, is it worth it, why you should or should not buy it, um, why did I get it. So basically an axle bar is a thick barbell. It's got um, the size of the sleeves on a normal axle, the two inches are the size of the grip here. So it's got a big grip. Other thing, there's actually no knurl on this thing. No knurl on the axle bar and another thing is that it doesn't flex at all. You know, if you take a standard barbell and put, you know, maybe about 350, when I start getting over 300 pounds on it, you'll start to see some flex in the bar. Um, the axle bar is made to not really flex at all. So it's not gonna flex. Axle bar is also completely hollow inside. Let me show you, see if I can show you how hollow this thing is. Oh yeah, you can see the end there. Bar is completely hollow. It actually reminds me of a pin and pipe set um, thickness. Now this Titan axle bar, um, I guess some previous gens of the, of the Titan axle bar, some other brands of axle bars, didn't fit standard plates. Um, this axle bar does fit uh, regular two inch Olympic plates. It fits Rogue bumpers, Rogue plates, York plates, um, some generic cap plates. Um, some other plates that I've just gotten off Amazon. It's fit everything. It fits my micro set, my micro plates. Has no problem fitting any regular two inch weight. Um, so it does fit everything just like a standard barbell would. Now why the heck would I buy this thing? What do you do with this thing? All right, so I bought this for one reason, though I now use it for three different things. Um, Basically use it as a variation. This is considered like your beater bar. A lot of people buy these because they're super cheap. As I said, scratch and dent, you can find this for 55 bucks all the time. Um, but even then, it's still under $100 for this bar, uh, more like 80 bucks. So one of the reasons people buy it is for a beater bar. So if you're doing lots of like landmine stuff, you don't want to beat up your nice two, three, four hundred dollar barbell. You want it to stay looking nice and clean. I mean, you can see this thing. I don't know if you can see all the like dings on it from the stuff I've done with it, but there's quite a few scratches and nicks everywhere on this. But this is basically considered your beater bar. You don't really care what happens to it. Um, it's a great bar for certain movements. So first of all, I got it for landmine stuff. Um, so that was my first reason. Uh, mainly the one that I got it for was for the overhead press. Um, I did another video on the Viking Press. I use this bar for Viking Press. The reason I like it so much for Viking Press, um, there's, it's not going to ever bend or flex, I should say, the way that a regular barbell does. It's nice and hard. And the other thing is when I stick all the stuff on to do Viking Press, there's lots of scratches happening. Saving my barbell. That's awesome. Next reason I got this bar, um, which I kind of learned later on, was for belt squats. I did another video on belt squats. I love this thing for belt squats. Great bar for the belt squat, um, which is also another landmine variation. Third thing that I do with this bar every once in a while is I will use it for deadlifts, and you can use it for other movements, just to have a grip variation using the two inch grip. Um, great alternative to deadlift every once in a while do some different kind of grip training. Um, it's a great bar to use for that. So what do I think of the bar? Um, I think an axle bar is a great specialty bar to have because it's your beater bar. It's what you want to mess around with when you do stuff. For any of you doing landmine stuff, it's almost a necessity because it's so cheap. It's like, why not spend less than $100 on one of these um, just to save your barbell so it doesn't, so it looks great. Um, other thing, the grip variation, the fact that it doesn't flex, all those make it very appealing for certain things, certain movements. So I totally think that the bar is worth it. I like it. Um, and one final thing that I should say is the bar itself is way significantly less than a barbell. It's more like 25 pounds. I think the 60 inch version is like around 20, like 15 to 20 pounds. So it's way lighter than a regular barbell as well. Um, which makes it very easy to work with, especially for some landmine stuff if you're trying to go super light. Um, really overall great bar. As I said, like I do recommend it. Um, 
It's just a great beater bar if you need something to kind of throw around your gym. This is an excellent bar and it's why most people have one. All right, later all.